24th of the August was the time that the new cycle of the magma accumulation under the Swartzengi Reservoir, magma reservoir, started. That's a shallow source at a depth of the five, four kilometers. A deeper source is filling up that. And the uh, sixth eruption ended already on the 22nd of the August. And since then, the magma accumulation has continuously uh, increased. We are seeing it on this chart. The red line, the red dots show that. A point to the date of the current measurement, that's the rectangle. And if we extrapolate that, and if, we, if it be anything similar to the fifth and sixth eruption, we will come to the date of 80 days after the last magma accumulation started. So 10 of November to 17 of November is the date I predict, is my guess based on this data, that the next eruption may happen. And uh, this is very likely. The risk assessment currently is reduced for all the regions, including for the Grindavik. Although we don't have the uh, risk uh, of the lava erupting there, we have the risk of falling into the cracks in the Grindavik town. I have a video. I will add it at the end of this and show that what is going on. But this is the uh, update of the Icelandic Meteorological Office so far as it is. And uh, I will keep you updated about this situation. It may get uh, uh, more interesting as the time goes by. At the moment, just rest assured, is not going to start anytime sooner. It has to be around that time that I have told you. 10 to 17 of November 2024, is the date that I think that we expect something happening there. Watch that video that I mentioned. When in November 2023, a swarm of the earthquakes shocked the town of the Grindavik in Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland, we never thought that it will have much implications for the town itself. But it did. The town was cracked from the south to the north. And it was evacuated after that. What we saw as cracks in the ground gradually turned out to be deep chasms and sinkholes which were connected to the sea. Surprise, surprise. We expected the magma to erupt from these cracks. It didn't. There was no magma under the town itself. If it was, it would have erupted through these cracks what we call as fissures, if they had magma in them. But what was more important is that it made the town so unsafe that people were not allowed to return unless for picking their belongings at certain times after authorities tried to make sure it is safe for them. One of the buildings which cracked was the sports center, or gym as I call it. And I postulated that the cracks have passed through the inside of the gym. And presto, now we can see that the cracks are actually extended into the gym. There was no photo of it to the outside world. When we went there to look at the astroturf, we could see that the astroturf was ripped apart and deep holes, deep chasms actually, were existing where it was already a flat surface for indoor activities like futsal, football in the salon. The crack extended most of it through the town. It was displaying the splitting of the North American plate and... Uh, Eurasian plate, sinkholes were appearing, and we could infer from the shape of the sinkholes and the cracks around them where the plate, one was beginning and the other one is starting. And that was the way we actually mapped it. Gradually, all the town was mapped for the cracks. And it turned out through mapping and ground penetrating radar that the town was on a graben, two grabens actually for that. A classical example of a rift valley opening up and sinking in the middle. This can potentially cause 
the town either fall into the sea or worse because there is no magma under the town itself we may have eruption in the sea where there is some earthquakes which shows there is potential for eruption of magma something in a similar scale to what we saw in the Cambria Vieja volcano watch it apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cambria Vieja volcano now two months has passed volcano has not stopped is coming directly from the core mantle boundary like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally now is adding to the land mass of the island but the lava is flowing down the hills going toward the ocean this is the flow that nothing can stop it I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the uh, sea where, where it has covered actually when it reaches the sea it just looks like Jurassic Park things are falling down rolling down the seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by these lava flows any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the or King Kong and that is how it looks this is a 3D model we have created and it shows the lava flow where it ended up on the sea. The older ones you can see that they are created layered lava as cliffs that we see. It's apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon.